and we're rolling! Hello, this is FD from Rolling with FD. And I want to tell you about the 5,000 subscriber contest. If you can help us get to 5,000 subscribers, we have something for you. First, subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, you make yourself eligible for the contest. After you subscribe, leave your favorite player or players in the comments and let us know who those players are. And once you subscribe and leave your favorite players, you're eligible for the contest. First place for those who win, you'll get a card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $1,000. Second place, the second place winner will receive one card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $250. And for third place, there will be five winners. Each winner will receive one piece of Rolling With FD merch and one lucky winner of those five will receive two pieces of Rolling With FD merch. Please remember to enter the contest, you first need to subscribe and second, you need to leave your favorite player or players in the comments. Once you do both, you have entered the Rolling With FD Road to 5,000 subscriber contest. Help us get there. We really want to, but we know we can't do it without your help. Thank you. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is FD with Roll with FD. We got an exciting episode for you today. This is a day in the life. We're going to move around in the hobby, do different things, see different people. So we're going to go to Northridge Sports Cars in Northridge, California. We're going to head over to Tahunga and see Captain Fish Collectibles. We haven't been there in a while, but we're going to go pay him a visit. And you all know that Monopoly Prism Basketball is out. So we're going to stop by Target and see if we find it. What do you think? Is it we're going to find it? It's been selling. may not be on the shelf. And before the day ends, we go see a great person in a hobby and a great artist, Yali. And we're gonna catch up with him and pick up something brand new and fresh. Check this out, see what it is. This episode is real cool, baby. Day in the life, roll with FDG. Junior's in the house. Let's go. Who's rolling with FD? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. What? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Talk to him. Hi everyone, it's Monique from Drip and it's Drip time. I want to tell everyone out there about Drip. Drip is a live streaming platform where you can buy sports cards, Pokemon cards, phone calls, or other collectible items at the click of a button from your phone. Use my link here and in the description below to receive 15 bucks off your first purchase of 20 bucks or more anywhere in the app. Remember to use my code on dripshot.live for $15 off your first purchase. We're going somewhere that I've never been before. I've heard about a car shop in Northridge, California, and I wanted to come up to it. So Junior, G, and I all came up to a sports cars and memorabilia in Northridge. Let's go in and check it out, see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. This shop in Northridge, California is great. We got memorabilia, cars, different eras of cars, vintage. Cars from when I grew up brings back a lot of memories up to some more exclusive product that's sold today. You have garments for sale. You can buy a jersey. If you haven't been to Northridge, please check this place out. Hey, this is real cool. This is our second time at Captain Fish Collectibles in Tahunga. We're gonna go in and see what they have. I haven't been in a little while. I wanna see what selection they have. And let's look around and ask some questions. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. That's just one word of the intro. Yeah, let's go. You see, you got Jordan on the wall, Jordan. We're going to come through. I had never brought Junior before. How's it going, Junior? You want to give him a handshake? This one, man. I like this one. You, you know I get excited about James Wiseman. Any Wiseman stuff? Just picked up something. Let's see what this is. This is basically it right now for Wiseman. Second year Tiger Select. I like it. Do you think he's going to be good in you know, Detroit? I think so. I also so, ask myself how long is he going to be in Detroit, but I think he'll take steps in Detroit. It was an interesting trade just because they have you know Duran and they you know, traded for Bagley. It didn't seem like they needed a big, but... It's a really bad trade. Why, why do you think so? Tell the people why you think it's a bad trade. Because... Because seriously... Too many big guys running around? Uh, it's the dirt team. 
They're not a good team. They won 16, 17 games. They're not a good team. What's some of the stuff you got in the corner over here? It's just all eminence. You know, like I said, it was all, you know, spread out. But last night before we left, we decided to stack it by player. This is just all eminence right here. Some really nice stuff you don't see every day. Oh, yeah. This is a not eminence, but pretty cool. 2010, we got Carmelo Patch Auto 101. How much is the there. Curry? The Curry, I think, is around 7K. Great car. Look at that thing. Very nice car. Who do you think won a championship this year? I mean, I'm biased. You can tell from my hat. I think Lakers like, taking it. Well, as you can tell from my hat. <laughs> you think the Warriors are taking it? The Warriors. <laughs> I don't, I mean, both teams have been kind of counted out, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, they have. Lakers before the playoffs started, Warriors after game two. People were saying, you know, get the brooms out. Yeah. Sacramento's going to sweep it. I don't know. I don't know. Be but I think Warriors definitely, after winning a game, I think I think next game's a blowout for them. I think they're going to win it tomorrow. And then uh, I don't see uh, Sacramento beat them in a three-game series. No. I don't see that. Sacramento's another team. Youth movement, they made it. I mean, the coach, the whole, you know, culture he brought. I think Mike uh, Brown, he, he knows what he's doing. He's been a coach in, in with, you know, championship teams. So they have a good core. De'Aaron Fox is the truth as well. I mean, so this okay. is the question I have. You have great basketball knowledge. Would you rather have De'Aaron Fox or Jalen Brunson? That's a good question. Because I lean with Brunson. Really? That's a really good question. Brunson has that dog in him, for sure. And he's left-handed? Lefty. They're both left-handed. Yeah, They're I was going to say, De'Aaron's De 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 also lefty. Both um, I I'd probably go with De'Aaron. I think he's a little bit better defensively, and his height probably comes into play with that. But they're both, I mean, they're like, it's like 1A, 1B. I wouldn't mind having either guy. Yeah, neither would I. Neither would I. Thank you, bro. You have a goal. You too. No, not even. Second year wise and tight. Yeah. A lot, a lot of wise. We have. Hey, what's up, everybody? Guess who we're going into Target for? Can you guess? <laughs> Let's see what we find. Let's go. This is not what we're looking for. The hunt is still on. Maybe we'll find, maybe we won't find. But this is a great game for anybody who's interested. And how do you play Monopoly? I'm cutting side deals. So I just walked down, talked to a gentleman named Tim in this store. He did a check on the blaster box and the game, Monopoly basketball, and it's out of stock everywhere in the area. And so for proof, I had him take a picture of his zebra gun. Fast stock people, we're late to this. I'm not shocked at the top of five, to tell you the truth. I, I told G, let me see if I can just walk up on something, and we cannot. So all throughout the country, let me know what you all are finding. Are you finding Monopoly basketball? Are you ripping? And if you do find it, are you holding it and not ripping? Let us know in the comments. Jim, we gotta get out of here. We didn't come here to play with the dinosaurs. I know, but I'm just checking. Were you checking? I'm just checking out the dinosaurs. That's my son, Junior. What up, baby? You good? So we're here with Yali. I just picked up this very nice hoodie, and he's going to walk us through everything that's on it and what it means. All right. So I Miss You represents sometimes we have lost somebody in our lifetime so far that we feel like God didn't take us, God didn't take them away from us. The world did. So that's what I Miss You stands for. We all go through that. Uh, no Windows kind of stands for solitude. It was when I was living out of room with no windows, but sometimes we also be around a bunch of people and still also feel like you're alone at the same time. So reality sometimes, just because you see people happy on the internet or together don't mean that they're really happy inside. So they're really sad together, but they portray that they're happy. So you don't understand what somebody else is going through. Uh, why hate for real? No reason to hate. 1v1, you burst the world. Sometimes it feels like you burst the world. Fake smiles stands for um, we all go through something in life and we all have our struggles every day. Sometimes we don't feel like smiling. So we put on a fake smile and sometimes our fake smile is so perfect. We don't ask somebody if they're okay because they already seem okay. So this is you going through something and I just want everybody to heal from it. Say it first. You might love somebody. You might think it's dope. Say it first. Give people their flowers. You know, at the end of the day, don't wait till they gone to try to give your speech. Give your speech to them. Let them know how great they doing now. This just stands for eternity. This is just a dope emoji that I drew. And the duck face stands for uh, comfortable in your own skin and confidence. Yeah, so. Oh yeah. Show them the back. Oh, yes sir. Yes sir. Yeah. <laughs> Black, olive green. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. See the back of that. Yeah, the back is tough, right? 
Now you gotta let people know where can they find these. Seriously, they I, I, I you can hit up FD. Nah, I'm joking. You can hit up. F nah, you can hit up FD. You can hit me up because FD know how to get to That's me. That's right. And then you can get me a Yali on Instagram. Y A L E E. And then the Dear Clouds is the brand, and Duck Face is a line under the brand. So it's like Nike, but these are the Jordans. These, these are the these are the retro ones. These are the Air Jordans. But um, Dear Clouds is stand for we all we all share one thing on this earth. No matter your gender, your pronouns, whatever, we all we all share clouds, all emotions. The wind, everything up, up, up under the clouds, but yeah. All right, now come here. Do, do your duck face thing. What you were just doing. <laughs> <laughs>「ジュニア」。今日は、ハッピーバースデーに関してのお知らせです。Right? But you got cookies and cream, and I got a chocolate chip something. And we just saw my man Yao Li and picked up a bomb, very nice hoodie that he's walked us through everything on here. There are song titles, meanings, everything front and back. I'm privileged to have one, very nice. But we want to bring you more content too that kind of just shows you who we are as people, what we do, how we get out and have fun, the jokes that Junior cracks. He's into his ice cream right now. But tell the people to like, subscribe, tell them. Like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button. It's a funny joke. What joke you got? Why did the rooster cross the road? Why? The world be worth a chicken. <laughs> I'm your hype man. Boom. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. We're going to come back with more. More is coming from Rolling with FD. That's Julius Folder, man. Do that again. Boom. Oh, you on double tap? Okay, now you've been abusive.